Do you get wrinkles at the sides of your eyes making you look older? Crow's feet Botox might be able to help you if you do, but your vision and smile could go horribly wrong though if it's not done correctly. So stay tuned until the end to make sure that it doesn't happen to you. This patient has those lines on the sides of the eyes that we commonly call crow's feet. The skin here over time is contracted back and forth and probably hasn't had good enough skincare and or regenerative treatments early enough to the point where we have these lines now. I'm marking the injection points here with an absolutely terrible pencil, but hopefully you can see that I'm planning to inject roughly where the lines are and just to the sides of the eyes. The target muscle I'm trying to switch off here to stop the contractions is called the orbicularis oculi. It's this sort of ring-shaped muscle that contracts inwards to scrunch the eye and make these crow's feet wrinkles. When you inject though, you have to be at the right depth to stop the Botox going somewhere it shouldn't. The muscle here is very shallow because there's barely any fat beneath the skin. And that's why my needle is almost parallel to the skin. I only want the tip of it to go in so I can make sure the Botox is really close to the surface and I hit the correct muscle as a result. The raised blebs you're seeing are a really good indication that it's at the correct shallow depth. Usually these will go down in about five to 10 minutes and the entire procedure is done without any numbing or anesthetic because it's very pain free. The problem though is when the injections aren't quite done correctly and you get problems like wonky smiles and double vision. If you're serious about having this treatment then you absolutely need to understand these risks and how they actually happen if you don't inject correctly so that you know what to look for in your own treatment. And luckily for you guys, I've made a video about it, which I'll link right here when it's uploaded.